The Walking Dead may have wrapped up last November, but it sure did leave something a lot more for the fans in the form of spin-offs. And for today's video, we'll be talking about The Walking Dead, Dead City, as one of its stars offers big hints about Maggie's future. Plus, take a look at these behind-the-scenes images that show Maggie and Negan's return. So keep watching if you don't want to miss out. From the looks of it, this TWD spin-off will show Maggie's greatest weakness being exploited. Even though The Walking Dead has officially ended, the brand is far from over because new spin-offs are joining the ones we currently have. One of them, The Walking Dead Dead City, will center on Maggie's persona in addition to Negan's. She had saved her son and made up with her former arch enemy by the time the main show came to a close. But the spin-off won't begin that way. Instead, Maggie will begin in a very different, much darker setting, according to actress Lauren Cohen. Cohen explained in an interview with Entertainment Weekly that they ended up picking up in New York at the foot of a pretty surprising mountain, where perhaps things may have gone well for a while, but also that they're back at this problem, much as these challenges that always seem to spring up. Nothing is through rose-colored glasses, the actress explained, because the thing that comes up, it's like, okay, so we overcame this obstacle of the Commonwealth and these things. That doesn't mean life is easy just because you quashed one enemy, and the enemy is this moving target. It's also the enemy within. There will be a time gap of a few years between the two series, and the spin-off will go into whatever the initial event was that set Maggie's life into a downward spiral. Therefore, it is clear that Cohen won't reveal what it is at this time. When we go into the new show, Maggie's greatest weakness is definitely exploited, Cohen added. Sometimes it's not the big things that are the hard things, it's the little things. Additionally, according to Cohen, such seemingly little details balloon to enormous proportions because they represent the character's biggest flaws and blind spots. Aside from Dead City, the Rick Grimes movie is now a TV show, and Daryl will also get a spin-off in the world of The Walking Dead, so there's more to look forward to in the TWD universe. In other related news, The Walking Dead spin-off photos show Maggie and Negan's Dead City making a comeback. Maggie and Negan are back in the upcoming The Walking Dead spin-off Dead City, as shown in new photographs. The Walking Dead had its 2010 AMC debut and ran for 11 seasons before releasing its season finale on November 20th. Although the long-running, highly regarded horror series has ended, The Walking Dead franchise has just started to expand. Three spin-off series have been produced to date, and three more are in the works. Dead City, the first of several future spin-offs, was revealed as Isle of the Dead in March. In August, the series name was changed to Dead City, and production was finished in October. Six episodes of The Walking Dead, Dead City are scheduled to air starting in April 2023. The Walking Dead recently shared fresh Instagram pictures of Maggie and Negan, who are both making cameo appearances in Dead City. In the first picture, Maggie Maggie is sporting a new appearance as she sits in a pub while sporting a leather jacket, gloves, and her hair pulled back. The second photograph shows Negan gazing out over a balcony while still donning a leather jacket. The last and possibly most revealing picture shows Maggie squeezing Negan's throat while Negan appears completely unconcerned. So what do we know about Dead City so far? Fans were devastated by Rosita's tragic death in the Walking Dead series finale, but it also brilliantly positioned the franchise's impending spin-offs. For the first time since since leaving, Rick and Michonne made an appearance in the finale's closing few scenes, giving viewers a glimpse of what lies ahead for them. Carol bid Daryl farewell before he departed on his own from Alexandria, launching his spin-off, Daryl Dixon. Negan's future was not disclosed, but Maggie hinted that she wanted to travel more as she did in Walking Dead Season 9, which helped set up the New York-based plot of Dead City. And in case you missed it, Cohen and Morgan have both been dropping hints about The Walking Dead Dead City ever since it was initially revealed. Dead City will take place a few years after The Walking Dead ends, and it will follow Maggie and Negan as they travel across New York City, though the actual plot is yet unknown. Although Maggie's final scene implied that she wanted to see more of the world, some fans hypothesized that New York may have something to do with locating Rick and the CRM. The reason for the new destination is still unknown. Morgan has also hinted that the character of Negan may reappear in The Walking Dead, Dead City. Why Maggie and Negan are traveling to New York City is still a mystery, as is the reason they are traveling at all. In The Walking Dead finale, Maggie and Negan had a difficult, emotionally charged talk, in which Maggie told Negan that she would never forgive him for killing Glenn, regardless of what happened. Given Morgan's indications that Negan will revert to his previous behavior in the spin-off, it's unclear how their relationship will progress despite Negan's apparent sincerity. However, solutions should be forthcoming shortly, given that The Walking Dead Dead City premieres on AMC in just a few months. With 
with these upcoming spin-offs, eagle-eyed fans may have already noticed the shows being interconnected. For instance, there's Rick's Walking Dead location that hints at a Dead City connection. In Episode 9 of The Walking Dead, Andrew Lincoln's character Rick Grimes was killed off in a close call explosion and then flown away with Jadis. Since then, there has been much speculation about Rick's whereabouts. However, his conclusion in The Walking Dead series finale has established his current location, and his presence there suggests that Maggie and Negan's planned spin-off may involve him. Rick Grimes is being held captive by the Civic Republic military, which has a sizable presence in Philadelphia. Rick Grimes appears in Philadelphia during the series finale of The Walking Dead, albeit the location hasn't been mentioned precisely yet. Maggie and Negan may easily pass through Philadelphia as they move from Virginia to New York City in The Walking Dead Dead City, increasing the likelihood that they will find the CRM or find evidence that Rick is still alive. A reunion will probably wait for Rick's own spin-off, but the Philadelphia setting makes additional Rick Grimes information coming from The Walking Dead Dead City much more possible. So what could this mean? It means Rick's return to The Walking Dead may tease at CRM's location. The Walking Dead season finale featured Rick Grimes' return and a scene in which he tried to flee the CRM but was thwarted by troops on helicopters. One and two Liberty Place, two well-known Philadelphia skyscrapers may be seen behind the aforementioned aircraft. The Philadelphia skyline was visible in The Walking Dead World Beyond when Silas spoke with Jadis as he attempted to break into the CRM, and it was featured in the first teaser of the Rick Grimes and Michonne spin-off. It's interesting to note that Silas's outfit from his time working at the Civic Republic's culling facility is remarkably similar to the one Rick Grimes dons during his brief cameo in The Walking Dead season finale. Rick's involvement in The Walking Dead series finale lends more support to the hypothesis that the major Civic Republic colony site is in Philadelphia. Up until this point, the location of the enormous Civic Republic town had gone unverified in The Walking Dead franchise. The likelihood that The Walking Dead Maggie and Negan NYC offshoot may make references to the CRM, Rick Grimes, or both, then rises because of the Civic Republic's vast size. In addition to this, Negan and Maggie may find more clues about Rick in Dead City. Maggie and Negan will almost definitely have to pass through Philadelphia on their way from Alexandria to New York City. More Rick Grimes teases should be anticipated given the amount of crossover in The Walking Dead, and this is an opportunity to reassure the Alexandria population that Rick is still alive. It would be intriguing to see Rick Grimes and Negan reunite in The Walking Dead Dead City, but it is unlikely considering that Rick's escape from the CRM will be the subject of his own spin-off alongside Michonne. However, Maggie and Negan might uncover information about Rick's survival, much like Michonne did with her iPhone and boots in Season 10 of The Walking Dead. Since Rick and the CRM both seem to have strong ties to Philadelphia, Maggie and Negan may come across more clues Rick has left along the way. In The Walking Dead Dead City, Maggie and Negan might have their own run-in with a CRM chopper if the CRM doesn't take too kindly to outsiders invading their land. So what else do we know about Rick Grimes' spin-off? Have they released the cast members for the series? There are now only three confirmed characters for The Walking Dead series, including Denai Guerrero's Michonne and Pollyanna McIntosh's Jadis, also known as Anne. Given that Jadis was the one who recovered Rick's body after the bridge explosion, it makes natural that she would appear with him. Additionally, it paves the way for future appearances of The Walking Dead World Beyond characters. It wouldn't be shocking to see some of Jadis' co-stars appear in the Rick Grimes program, as she was a working member of the CRM and one of the key characters in World Beyond Season 2. As a Rick and Michonne spin-off, Denai Guerrera is anticipated to co-star with Andrew Lincoln in the Rick Grimes series. Michonne made a promise to look for her misplaced spouse in the series finale of The Walking Dead. It would make sense that Rick will reconnect with his former family and friends before the spin-offs end, if not earlier, given that it is scheduled as a six-part limited series. Some more Walking Dead characters, especially Norman Reedus' Daryl and Kaylee Fleming's Judith, should return for the program even if they might not be essential to the plot. With that, we're wrapping up today's video about The Walking Dead spin-offs. Which of the two series are you most excited about and why? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. See you next time, and thanks for watching.